1v1. 1v1. Yep. When I have my touch at my feet there, Bob can come forward. Yeah. So I keep going forward and he comes to close me down. When I get to there, he's dropped low, got his feet so the ball can't get through, his hands are down, so if I try now to hit it past him there or down the outside, he can make a save. Yeah? So I get to there and the idea is to stop me from running towards him. So I get to there, now I've got a decision to make. What can I do? Which way? Doesn't matter, does it really? I could go like that and go that way. Yeah, or I could just drag it that way. Now, when does he make his dive? Yeah, so when he gets to there and he's closed me down, I have a big touch there. That's the time for him to make his save. Yeah, so he gets there quickly, he drops down low, stands me up, makes his save. Just watch again. Bob, just roll it to me and I'll set off. Ready? Good. Excellent. Yeah? So if my touch is poor like it was there, that's his chance to get down on the floor to make his save. Let's have a go. Anywhere. I like it. Good. Good. Stand, stand there. Bye, bye, bye. It's like, it's like you get there and it's a bit sort of like that-ish, yeah. whereas you need to be like that. So, so slow down a little bit sooner, do you know what I mean? Don't rush to him and then <laughs> yeah. no, you know, get, get to him and then just drop down. If people come and amble up and have another touch, yeah, it's great. Because you, it gives you time to get there, drop low and stand them up. But if they're flying towards you at pace like with the last one, a big touch past you, sometimes that's when it's more difficult. You've just got to sometimes make the best. Yeah? Do your best. Good, stand him up now. Stand him up. Stand him up. Too far away. It's good though. Stand him up, stand him up. Look at the ball, good Don't go down. Get closer to him. Get closer to him. Stay up, stay up. Oh. Good skill. That's good skill. That's what you've got to think of. I'll just come up with the ball. If he was a winger and I was a fullback, yeah, and he's coming towards me, I would get there, wouldn't I? And then what I would do is I would get sideways on, wouldn't I? Do you know what I mean? So I'm uh, Danny Mills. No. Somebody, I'm a fullback. I would be like that, wouldn't I? So wherever he went, if he takes it outside, yeah, I'd go that way, wouldn't I? And then he brings it inside, I'd get across. It's exactly the same, except you can go like this. So when he brings it across there, just be patient, stay on your feet until he has the big touch, then he can get on the floor. Yeah? Patience, move your feet, then step to make your dive. Good. There's your chance, good lad. Hard. Good. Stand up, stand him up, stand him up, stand him up. There's your chance, there's your chance. Good. Lads, just quickly before he moves on, that's the advantage of being able to, you know what we did this morning in the diving where I'm saying to you, can you step on that knee and go down that side? Can you step that way and make that save? If you practice and you can get the same shape on both sides, this kind of thing becomes so easy. Yeah, because if he has the big touch that way, I step, leave with my hands, that's my save. If he goes that way, I can go that way. Some of us at the minute can only dive on one side. Do you know what I mean? So it's difficult, if he takes it that way, to, to move yourself across to dive that way. Yeah, so it's, it's important that you practice stepping, getting across. Lad, well done. I was waiting for the trick. As he approaches, he drops low. Good. 
I'll have a big touch there, and he makes a save that way. Yeah, good, and I'll bring you that way. Stay in here. One v one starting position. Hands down by the side of their feet. Feet close enough together so that the ball can't get through. When the attacker has a big touch, the goalkeeper being low is in a position to make a quick diving save onto the floor. As soon as the ball is...